Wait, what? Coma? Wait, what? Quart oh my god! I got I got quartz! I got so much quartz suddenly! Well, thank you! Oh, I realize there's no sound for you guys. I'm sorry about that, but... Oh, Lord! So this is the one that's gonna lead to... But who the fuck is... Karma? Karma ha me ha? Nani? Is this one from what? What the? Uh, let's restoration. New servant. Uh, five star. But what is for a five star? What is she for one? Uh, assassin. Well, oh, okay. She she seemed to be a lolly though, so it's not that I guess. But um, I think I'm gonna make a roll here actually, mainly because if I get karma, I guess that's nice. But craft essence for the event since it's a seemingly some big funky. And since I did get so many quotes now, I might as well uh, use might might as well might as well use them up, you know. Now I just hope, if I get in craft as it is for the event, and not <laughs> old ones I already have. It wouldn't surprise me, because if they're gonna hurt me, they hurt me deep. But that can Is it based on, like, Ilya or something like that? You know, the white hair, red eyes. I do wonder. I do wonder. And karma. So, because I do know. Oh, nice! There we go! Shunley, no, no scratching my bed. You already destroyed my bed. Ooh. Dude, damn, Vlad has thick arms, holy moly. Damn, boy, he's working out. Oh, boy. Yeah, but, okay, Karma. Now I don't know who's who that is, really. It doesn't really ring a bell. I mean, probably I have heard it. It just doesn't connect right now. Nino Chris, okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Nito. That that's that's nice of you. <laughs> well I didn't expect Dude, I only get caster so far. That's a lot of casters, man. Oh well I think this is my third Nito Chris. That's that's nice, that's nice. Well, an archer. Ah, well, that that was nice. Well, I got at least two craft essence. And, oh, I did get Alexander as well. That looks nice. Increase amount of Luna Luster Rogue. Wait, Luna Luster? Wait, wait what? I don't, look at, look at my boy, look at my dude Vlad there, like, Mwah. And Anderson, Robin. Firefighter Spirit. 
That's lit. Snowy face powder. Is it because fire extinguisher? I guess. Yeah, we need to take it as well. And I got. I think. I think it's my third needle crease there. I, it's 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 nice. I, I like needle Chris, so it's good. It came. Uh, not my kind of salt, and I have plenty of it, as we all know. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is. Oh god, this will be ass. It's funny because here she had like massive tits, which you normally don't have. Light and perspective can change things very drastically. <laughs> Oops, I clicked outside. Where the fuck am I? Yeah, but that, that's nice, though. I think I think Nito Lancelot and yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, well, I, I, I think uh, uh, Suzuki, Suzuki, I mean, is those that have like more than one MP of my four stars. Okay, new event. This is gonna be interesting. And from my understanding, this is like um, Sin 3.5. And this is building up for the next Lost Belt, so I am I'm curious. Here you go, Senpai. I decided to try herbal tea today. What do you think? Nice, I guess. But you know, I'm more of a coffee person. I haven't had coffee in four days now, because I haven't been able to buy coffee. I want to die. <laughs> it's very soothing. I was so happy when I found out Sion had brought along these sorts of luxury goods. That was nice. Yes, of course, having nothing but bland supplements would ruin the camp-like atmosphere. Isn't that literally, though, what you generally have bland supplements because, you know, you can't carry too much with you when you're out camping? I mean, then again, I'm not a camping expert, so I prefer to sit inside. <laughs> I'm fine with only bare minimum resources necessary to survive myself, but I cannot speak for anyone else. Some made sure you would have a wide variety of food and recreation to choose from, to satisfy your need for both mental and physical nourishment. That's nice! But I don't know how that feels! Because I'm I'm literally been eating pasta and um, bolognese for like one and a half week now. <laughs> Because pasta is very cheap, so I have a bunch of it. And I have this big pot of bologna sauce I made. And as soon as it's getting low, I'm filling it with water and spices. So now it's more like a soup. But when well, you don't have anything else to eat, <laughs> you do whatever you can. So, yeah. Have a variation would be fantastic. I already spent all of the Atlas Spiritum points I had been saved for years to acquire them, so you may as well make the most of them. Spiritum points? Yaini? I'm so grateful to her. Before we got to the Wandering Sea, we had to make do with nothing but the border's emergency supplies. Huh. You know, having proper tea together like this again reminds me of the old Chaldea in the Antarctic. Me too. Me too. I know things are compli completely different now, so I shouldn't be feeling sorry for myself, but... Haste makes waste. Sure about that? Haste is a nice spell in Final Fantasy. It's very... Haste make pasta? No. It's in, but it is important to rest up. You're right. At this point, all we can do is wait for Sion and Cap to finish modifying the Shadow Border. So that it will be stable enough for us to head to the Atlantic Lost Belt. Are we gonna enter the... Um, what is it called? Atlantic... Um, Atlantis! That was the one I was thinking of. 
As much as we like to help, it's all just way above our heads. Dude, my character, well, at least my character. I don't know about all other uh, MCs, but my character is dumb as fuck. Why is our character the master? Literally. <laughs> we, 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 we just are here. Everyone else is doing like the big thing. I'm like, Durr. Dr drooling halfway. Good question. All we know for sure is that it's taking longer than anyone expected. Shion said that Davinki's design for the board is even more intricate and delicate balance than she had thought. I remember Davinki seemed both pleased and apologetic about that. At any rate, they all said there is a crucial part they need for the modification. And I will probably need to go to India and Last Bell to get it. Oh. I wonder what that's about. Ah, is it curry? I would explain it. And curry is the Oh god, I haven't had eaten curry in so long. Oh god, I, I would kill for a little bit of curry not right now, actually. Anything else than my bolognese and uh, pasta? It could be something that can be only obtained there, or it could be for some other reason. I'm sorry, I just don't know enough to say one way or the other. All I know is that at this point it sounds like they are putting the piece together so they can install the necessary part. She even thought that its preliminary preparation would be finished soon after we got back from the Chinese lost belt. But apparently things don't quite go as planned. I mean, when have they really gone as planned for us? To be fair, most of the stuff really don't go as planned. Still, Captain did say it looks like they should be finishing this stage fairly soon now. Let us recover it until it's our turn to help. You need, you know what that means. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hoink, hoink. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. Hey, we should rest up while we can. Oh, so we can hit the ground running. Suddenly, no. I shall shoot you. Yeah, I will. I will spray you. That's some very wrong. Don't take that out of context. Because oh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. See the corner of my bed there. Cats, Shan Li, main culprit. But teeth as well. They literally ripped that part of my bed open. Uh, and the worst is, it's not even my bed. It's I got to borrow it from my brother because my previous bed was broken. Not by the same reason, but yeah, it, it, yeah. So, and also. Uh, hit the ground running, you know, like like in do cartoon. Doesn't work. Game Grumps tried it. No, not Game Grumps. Mythbusters. I, it's been a lot of stuff with Game Grumps. If 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 you know what I, what it's about, it's really really fucking mess, and it mess with my brain. Would you like some more tea, Senpai? We also have plenty of cookies to go with it. Yum 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 yum. Wait, what, what did you do there? Suspicious. Alright, I know what you're about to say. There's way too many, right? Well, there is a reason for that. Things have become so much more lively around Caldea Base now that we have more servants here. So I made to share in case I ran into any of them on the way here. But as luck would have it, I haven't seen anyone else today. Not even Fu. In fact, now that I think about it, it feels like Caldea Base is way too quiet today. What the f- Dude, I would love if she leaves What the fuck? <laughs> she curled like everyone like- Oh no! Our delicate flower have learned the nasty words! I mean, then again, I curse all the time, so it wouldn't be a surprise. Mushy mushy! Do you still exist over there, Lano? Not really. I don't exist any longer. I I am I'm a non-existing creature. I'm pasta. If you're there, give me some sort of response. Even an empty message will do. Otherwise, this is the end of New Caldea. What? Calmly <laughs> see. This is not the time to ghost me. Oh no, I feel bad now. We have already made more than enough dead air in our budget. Okay, I can hear you breathing. That was sophisticated for me. 
Oh, you did do my shoe. Even better. Ah, oh, yes. I can hear you breathe. Oh, yeah. That's that's enough of my existence. I'm just breathing. What's going on, Shiyu? Why is the alarm going off? In all of history, there's only ever been one reason an alarm go off at the base. New Chaldea's under attack. Attack? Correct, it's rather terrible. Like waking only to find all your data from yesterday is corrupted. What else can you do at a time like this but laugh? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. No, sorry. This is really not time to dissociate, dissociate, dissociate from reality. Is it? We do not have a moment to waste. Please come to the command room at once. Understood. Let's go, master. Okay. We hear. What in the world is going on, Shion? Before I answer that, I would like to confirm something with you. Did you see anyone else on your way here? Anyone at all, like one of the staff or a servant? No, I didn't. In fact, I was telling Master of Strange was that I haven't seen anyone else today. They have been eaten by a demon ghost called Gnobbler. Truly terrifying. Ghost Eater, Man Slayer, Think Tank, Gnobbler. Beware, Gnobbler, scary. Does that have something to do with this attack? This is what I was afraid of. I was hoping that at least one person might be hiding with present Cosimo, but I guess that's not the case. As soon as I realized there was no one else in the command room, no staff, no homes, no Da Vinci. <laughs> oh no, we lost our true working brain cells! How the fuck are we gonna... Okay, we have Shion. She is smart, at least. I'm happy for that. Because, uh, to be fair, isn't that kind of like a little bit scary to think on like that? Because our, because I can see that as a massive problem in the future, because our character have been relying so much on Holmes and Da Vinci and many servants to solve all the thinking problem and all that, you know? And I just imagine one day when we have nothing of that, and then we're like, okay, can you solve this uh, puzzle? And our character's like, mm! <laughs> explode. That's how I imagine things are gonna happen. I cut off your cause and effect interference to keep you both safe. To think the only ones I could help in time were you two and myself, especially that I've already cut myself off from human history. Shion? Oh, sorry, I will leave my self-examination and strategize into a different thought process and get to the main topic. You can see what sort of attack we're under for yourself. So, yeah, that Gnobbler. Gnobbler took everyone. Damn you, Gnobbler! Gnobbler, Gnobbler, Gnobbler. If the... If the even after sounding the alarm and putting out a call, YouTuber only wants to come here. And that can only mean one thing. We're now the only ones left in the entire Caldea base. Damn you, Gnobbler! How could you eat Blackbeard? Okay, so... That's not good. I mean, that's... 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 that is the opposite of... Like... Good. The spirit origin graph is still working, but we cannot summon a single servant. <gasps> Nani! And there is not a single member of Chaldea staff anywhere in the base. In the base. In the base. Uh, don't worry, be happy now. Even my servant, Captain, is gone. We're the only ones left. Whether this is due to external interference or internal sabotage, there is clearly ill intent at work. I mean, that's. Was it just me, or did it look like something glitch in the corner and was like a person there? Probably just me seeing things. I still need to investigate more, investigate more thoroughly before I can say exactly what happened, but it's already really clear what the culprit used to accomplish this. It was a ray shifting. They used ray shifting to induce four spirit run summoning. 
Layman's term, my coffin was used as a catalyst which to force the relationship with anyone. Wait, what? Dude, talk about the fucking power move. I have some of this. The mightiest summon ever. And then the enemy is like, <laughs> summon, summon that servant. They is now under their command like, fuck. Dude, that's a power move. What? Is that even possible? I'm sure it will be with Chaldeas, but this is Novum Chaldea. There is no phase navigna navigational, navigational system that advanced, that advanced here. So it would be impossible to reverse some by hijacking our system. Usually I would be 99% sure about that conclusion. But I do have a theory or two on how it could, po be, could possibly happen. However, they are so absurd that I decide to shell them for now. Next time I will not be so quick to criticize a whole handle situation like this. No! Don't do Holmes! Nah! Even when Holmes is not here, he's this eyes and everything. I mean, if there was a locked room murder mystery, it would be as if the kill was the greatest pitch in the entire universe. And they killed the victim by throwing a ball through an air vent. I mean, that could work if the ball was a grenade. Or what do you say, Gnobbler? That is how unlikely a service it would need to be for that to happen. Though that said, I suppose if the universe's greatest picture were actually here, then it would technically be possible. Yeah, I don't know who the, I can actually check. Who is the greatest picture in all time? Greatest picture. Putcher. Picture of all time. Uh, Greg Maddox, Roger Clemens, Sandy Koufax, Pedro Martinez. Okay, they they're probably great. I have no idea who they are. I don't know a shit about baseball players. I do know that there's a guy here named Lefty Groove, though. And just with that name, I think that is our winner. Lefty Groove. That is... That is... That is groovy. Sorry, getting sidetracked back on point. We are the only ones capable of fighting back against this attack. Lana, Mash, and myself, Sir Eltnam Sukaris. You know what I would actually like? I would actually like if we replaced um, Shion. Not she not she on a Mashu. And I don't mean like permanent, but you know how M Mashus always are like sidekick? I think it would be really fun if it was like one um, servant. Another servant instead that, you know, just helping out for once, you know? I like Mashu, but I, I just think it's um, fun to see a little variation. Obviously, I think Black Bear would be the one, but. <laughs> <laughs> but that is just me, most likely. Who could attack or be? And why in the world would they do this? I cannot say anything about that just yet. That said, I do not think one of the cryptids is behind this since they have no reason to leave their lost belts. I also still have a faint connection to my own servant, Captain. So the fact that he is yet to take any action must mean that he's trapped. And I would guess that all Chaldean staff and servant are as well. Are they okay? That's what I want to know too. Not everyone on Chaldea staff is a mage. If if they really were rage shifted then... See, your word they may be unable to withstand the rage shift and disappear upon reaching their destination. Oh no. I cannot deny that such a worst case scenario is possible. But in this case, I do not think you need to worry as the rage shift in this energy does not appear to belong to standard history. That is, they are moving through space more than time, so my cough will have no trouble verifying their existence. Okay, I hope so. Of course, I cannot guarantee their safety if they should encounter some sort of violence at their destination. But if all the culprit wished to do was to hurt them, they would need to not, not need to go to the trouble rage shifting them. Thinking logically, I suspect the culprit goal was to summon and capture them, not kill them. If I were to cu their culprit, I would have frozen them the moment they were summoned and kept them packaged as spirit trolls. What? Damn. 
I have to do that for the people with low ratio aptitude anyway, and it would also stop the servants from fighting back. Since they've already been converted during the ratio process, that would definitely be the most efficient way to capture them. Then there's still a chance we can save them? Does that mean you know where they went? Of course! That is the most important part after all. When I got to the command room, all of the ray shift equipment was already set to fix parameters. To put it in another way, they all point towards a very specific set of coordinates. coordinates, coordinates. <laughs> and since everyone was reverse some of the way, this almost certainly means that someone or something is at those coordinates. Though of course I cannot say if the culprit just forgot to cover their tracks, there was nothing they could do to hide them, or they left them here on purpose to lure us in. What is corners exactly? Does it mean they point to a singularity from the past? Hmm, that is really the key problem. Remember what I said earlier about the destination of belonging to standard history? Yeah, that was about like 30 seconds ago. It is technically a singularity, but also quite different from the singularities we have seen so far. Its influence is spreading, or perhaps it should say stretching. Well, stretching can be good. Usually, the bizarre phenomenon that take place in singularities are confined to that singularity. But this singularity is trying to interfere with proper human history while remaining a singularity. What? How does that work? In that sense, it may be closer to a lost belt. If we think of human history as one long scroll, singularities are like stains that weaken the scroll but contaminate the history around them. Whereas Lost Bell like another scroll entirely that was discarded once it was clear it was no longer useful. It could be that this singularity is some sort of hybrid, a pseudo singularity similar to Shinjuku or Shimosa. So a uh, single single belt. A single belt, I think that sounds reasonable. I think the most appropriate name would be given this specific you know, this human destruction zone. I think single belt Tifa? Single belt probably sounds best, as me, in my opinion. Is it not like any one of Shinjuku? That would mean I don't know what that means. I mean, Shinjuku was it was cool. Center coordinate of this singularity, which is currently stretching out like a line, point to mid 17th century Japan during the Edo period. The province of Shimosi observed before his gun. Is gone from Easter, so I suspect this incident is completely unrelated. Understood. Regardless, I think there's only one option left for us. Left uh, to left to left to a uh, little Now that we know where everyone was taken, the path to them is still open. We have to go there too. From there, we need to find whoever or whatever is behind this, defeat them, and rescue everyone. Director, many you I hope you guys are okay. I mean, to be fair, Holmes and Da Vinci are most likely, if anything, able to... They are servants as well, so I, I can just resummon them, but Director Meunier, you know, they, they are just, they are just human, so I, I'm... Director Meunier. Yes, that is true, in the end, that's what it all comes down to. But I'm afraid I cannot let both of you go there. I want you to help me, Mashu. I already have my hands full observing the singularity. I need one more skill upgrade who, can tr who I can trust to observe and verify Lana's existence. I'm so happy there are people out there to verify my existence. For, because what do you know? Maybe I'm not even existing outside these videos. Maybe I'm just an internet ghost. Spooky! Someone who is capable of filling in for free Chaldeans that member on their own. I... But if I do... There will be no one left to help Senpai in the singularity. That is true, but this is a question of priori priorities. If this were the diving expedition, it would be a decision between going down to the depths with an escort but without a diving suit, or going down with a diving suit but no escort. Uh, it's not even a matter of which is safer. If we are unable to verify her existence, she will not be able to dive into this, this other world at all. But still going into singularity without a single servant is just... It's my my time to die. I've finally come. Talking about the mention, you know, that we're so relying on Holmes and Da Vinci and all of that. I guess our time has come. Yes, I do understand your concern, but look at Lano. 
Okay, guys, look at me. What could possibly go wrong? Trust me. I'm not very good at anything. <laughs> Going there is terrifying. But that just is true for everyone else, too. Exactly. The fact is, figurative boat we're in is on the verge of sinking. And we all lean together. As our base was already attacked once, there is no telling when those of us staying here may be attacked again. Yeah. Uh, for something that is supposed to be, you know... Uh, um, impossible to find. The amount of attacks we have re gotten here recently really, really begs the question. We need a better security, you know? This place really don't... It doesn't really work well. <laughs> So I'm afraid our own lobby is for you to summon up your courage and look for either weapon or companion or sight. Oh, dude. Can I get like, like a rocket? Don't you? Wait, Chion, don't you have a rocket launcher or something like that? It's like one of my OCs in uh, um, FGO RP we has. Uh, big, he's, he's literally, he's just a, like a human with uh, big guns and big arms that go in the fighting servants with that. Obviously, he will not win, but he, he got the spirit. <laughs> Fortunately, the singularity is in 17th century Japan, which by all accounts was civilized, civilized society, so you should be able to reason with the people there. Wait, what? 17th century Japan? Civilized? I'm not the one to, like, I don't want to piss on people's, uh, you know, history and all that. But wasn't, like, literally 17th century Japan, and for for that matter, rest of the world, quite lots of chaos going on, you know, with wars and shit like that. I'm pretty sure it was. So, like, yeah, it's civilized. Ready? As long as you can get past the first hurdle, I'm sure you will be able to move things along rapidly. Wait, what first hurdle? Oh, come on, have you never seen a samurai movie? I mean, when they draw the sword, if they feel someone has behaved improperly towards them. Yeah, somebody was civilized! <laughs> I think they call it Burei Uchi? Gosh, imagine a society where you cannot even speak to anyone above your class for fear of being beheaded. That would be terrifying. And you called it civilized? I mean, if if you're considering civilization, well, being a civilized timeline is when they have fire and they have houses. I mean, yeah, okay, but yeah, that's. Buruch, I never heard of that before. I see, is that the situation we are in? Increasing is that danger. I've left to sum up my courage as well. But it seems I'm the only servant in all of Chaldea who managed to evade capture. You are? Oh, it was, sir. I was like, wait, isn't that Tiddy Monk? But not Tiddy Monk. Tiddy. 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 Uh, yes, uh, says Join Kiara, servant. I came as soon as I heard the commotion. So you're going to Japa? Then I will come with you when, when do we leave? Why is she here? Why did she manage it? Yes, it is I, your faithful servant, says you in Kiara. Never did I expect to receive so much attention from you, especially in front of other people like this. Thank you, master. I don't have... I have not... What? Look at this magic energy. That is definitely one of Lana's servants. No, she's not. I don't have her. Let me see, class, alter ego, special kind of heroic spirit does not fall under standard categories. So you're non -regula regulation serve. This is rather in line with my calculations. Yes! This is even, uh, even I was not able to see you. The enemy must have overlooked you entirely. At any rate, this worked out perfectly. Now we have trustworthy bodyguard to go along with Lano. So really, thank you, Kiara. Wait, trustworthy? Sorry, I wasn't aware of you up until now. But you're obviously gentle, clean and cooler, and you even seem to be familiar with Japan. 
uh, I just have horrible flashbacks to CCC. I'm just saying. I couldn't even imagine. What's going on my bed right now? Yeah, I could have. I could. I can imagine many. Right off the bat, Iso. Iso would be awesome here, wouldn't he? You know? He's an assassin, so stealthy, stealthy. You know? And obviously, he's. Isn't he from. Isn't he from pretty much that era? When did I. I yeah I I haven't I have I I, I not me personally. But you sure we can trust her, right? Nope. No, I couldn't tell you why. No, but but she's definitely dependable. I I I don't trust her. I see. So she's not an anti-hero like shooting Doi. She doesn't quite seem to fit that mold. But never mind that. Thank you for doing this, Kiara. I know that between keeping massive and rescue all the others, this is a lot to ask of you, but... To her, you're so polite. <laughs> That's hot, that consideration of yours is all the reward I need. Please, you need, need not worry. As I said, I will be happy to accompany Master. Usually a servant like myself would have no part to play any mission, and I would never have been called upon. So if you are called upon me now, the circumstances must be dire indeed. I assist you in Kiara, swear to swallow any hard feelings I may have ha have and to do everything. Swallow isn't that literally your entire stick? I'm just saying, swallow. Gulp, gulp, gulp. If the extra class servant escaped the enemy notice, maybe they will have a hope of finding a couple more. Yeah. Where's like passion lip, melt, king protein, the robots, aren't they alter egos? Mech, eh, Mech Ideally, I would like to send Lani in with four heavenly kings, or at least three musket. Dude, I want the three musketeers. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, I seemed I was the only one to elude the hand of the temptation. Isn't temptation and swallowing your stick? I'm somewhat different from other extra seven, thanks to my ind. Something's independent. Ah. Uh. You mean independent action? There must be a very powerful story behind you. I would be very interested to hear more about it, but right now... Ah, I found something. I mean, there's another servant beside Kiara? Yes, I managed to track down one more. Excellent work, me. However, right, this servant is not here in the Wandering Sea. The thing I found belongs to the very last servant that was the reverse summon out of here. They appear to have stopped right before the end of the race. Perhaps they are doing their best to fight back. If you go after them now, you may still be able to rendezvous with them. Oh my, so they're doing their best to stay strong. How reassuring. But any rogue spirit is completely defensive right now after the race shift. No matter how strong they are. They could easily be gobbled up. <gasps> See? Gnobbler! Gobbled? Gnobbler. S Coincidence? I think not! Up from behind. Behind? Before they can adapt to the singularity? Ah yes, I understand. I must understand why you would be reluctant to act under the circumstances, Lady Lano. But I think now is the time to do so. We should ray shift out of here and get go help these lost servants as soon as possible. Agree with me, Skara. We didn't we if we do You need to make contact with them first and re-establish your contract connection. I'm sorry I cannot give you more time to prepare your leave, Lano, but I'm not ready. I'm reminded of another saying: "Make hay will while the sun the sun shines." I never heard of that. That would make sense because you know, uh, after you have been hitting the grass, so to speak, or what the fuck you call it in English, because you know, slow grass it. Uh, you need to let it. Rest in the sun so it dry, and then of course turn it and all that. But uh, yeah, but I mean, I guess it's the same thing. Like st like strike uh, strike the iron while it's hot, you know. If we know what this we have to do, and we risk losing something important if we don't act soon, then maybe we should just ignore any doubts and move full speed ahead. Either way, my job is to make sure you have all support you need. 
So please, Maz and Kiara, we're counting you to save everyone. Understood. Not to worry, I will take care of this. Whatever I can do to help, however small, I will see this food to an end. Even should it cost my life. Still to think that a reunion after so long that would involve a journey to such a faraway land. Just imagine, the two of us are alone on a dangerous expedition with me in the fleeting. They turn to dust and then... Man, is she horny already? I can see I will need to be ever so careful. Otherwise, I might get so nervous that I inadvertently reveal a rather unseemly side of myself. I, re I rather remember that unseemly side of you. <laughs> okay, when I said, like, you know, it would be... Uh, fun to have another servant at your side and Mashu. I didn't expect it to actually happen and I didn't especially did not imagine Kiara Finally safety checks complete all systems are go the rage corners are set to 45 uh, for north uh, east mid 70th century Japan Since you seem to have some familiarity with the country you probably already know this, but this will put you in the town of Edo from about 400 years ago. The city everyone today knows as Tokyo. One of your two primary goals of the relationship involves the location itself. This is no ordinary singularity. It's a massive human destruction show that appears to even affect the axis of time itself. What? If we do not something about it now, it's certain to become a huge problem. Yeah, like my dude. So one of our, our primary goals is to take care of the zone itself. Most of the singularities we're seeing to date were caused by massive magical energy resources, typical Holy Grail. So if you find something like that there too, you may need to take him in custody. Yay, more Grails to me, man! Been there, done that, got the missing code. True, I guess I don't have to tell you that the particular goal is just officially part of the line, at least in one sense. I mostly just said it's cover our base, bases like an alibi. Just keep in mind so you do not forget it entirely. That goal is of course much more important and much more urgent. Rescuing all of Caldea's personnel and servants currently trapped there. We still have another huge problem we need to take care of, namely resolving the bleached earth phenomenon. Bleach? This one may be much smaller in comparison, but this is an important step nonetheless. This enemy has launched a direct attack on Caldea. There's only one thing for us to do in response. Attack back. Counterattack, counterattack, and counterattack some more. Yes, kick them where they lie, laying down. <laughs> you know, like in Jojo Bizarre's Adventure, when they're uh, kicking that dude laying on the floor, like, and uh, yeah, and then joining in, like, ah, that's that's how we do this. By doing so, we'll fortify our position for the upcoming Grand Order. So I hope you understand that this red shift is a crucial try for all of us at Novum Caldea. I promise to go back with everyone's save us out, Captain! Good. Then this red shift then as this red shift supervised, I hereby declare that this emergency directive. This counter order is underway. Also please be careful over there. No problem. Starting on summoning program, commencing Spiritron conversions. conversions. Ration begins in 3, 2, 2.3? 2.2? It's in the wrong order, I know, but who cares? <laughs> All systems are go. Like the go, like the, the game? Okay. Into the black hole of the void. Woohoo! It's shining. I wonder who is that servant is that fighting. Man, no battles. I want to fight, man. I want to see... Because I assume someone already have karma. I felt as though something or someone was calling me. I'm not just one thing now. All sorts of things are layered on top of each other to form me. Though I also feel as though it has been that way for a very long time. I am a goddess. I am the wife of the supreme god, Mahasvara. I am a servant. I am the avatar of mankind. I am called upon by humans. I am the one who aids the effort to protect the world. Oh wait, is this karma? And now I am being called away, heading there as I speak. 
Though I'm sure I'm being called away, I also know that I'm headed there of my own volition. I have to, I must. The impulse within my divine call demand it. I brush off the arm ruddily trying to take hold of me, but I don't run away from it. Instead, I follow it to its source. I step out of a pathway made by humans, with human craftsmanship. I head towards a place that is not now, a time that is not here. I know something is waiting for me, something I can't ignore. And now I arrive at the land of humanity, twisted beyond all recognition. I saw it the moment I arrived, the light of a soul, so faint it seemed as though it might go out any moment. It was so small, so weak, but it was still glowing. Even if it was fated to vanish in an instant, it was still there, I saw it. It looked like to me like it was struggling desperately against something, like it was wait waiting for help. I'm sure this isn't the reason I came here. It was only by coincidence that I helped to find this tiny remnant of a human soul. But that's exactly why I, I had to help it somehow. After all, if I come across a person in trouble, I wouldn't need a reason to help them. Every decent person would hope to do the same, even if they rarely do in practice. So as a kind and loving goddess, how could I refuse? Oh wait, Parvati? Oh, is it Parvati that's fighting? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like we are right successfully, Lady Lana. So that was a ray shift. How novel. It's quite different mystic and even experienced than entering someone's mind. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, I remember we fought like snake god here. Usually we will try to set ray shift corners to give some time to take to stock up your surroundings. But we simply didn't have the time. So instead we went with a location as close as possible to the target's reading. As a result it looks like you ended up inside Edo Castle, the heart of Edo governing authority. You have essentially directly invaded the most heavily secure base of the entire country. Oh yeah, how good is that gonna help? That's not gonna end well! There's no telling who it might be nearby or what could happen even from our end. Master Kiara, please be, a care be as careful as possible. Yes, that is true. At this point in history, Edukasa was so tightly guarded, not even a fly could get through un unnoticed. I'm pretty sure a fly could do that. Don't underestimate the fly man. Fever by the magic and king, the gods would surround them 10, perhaps even 20 to 1, or at least a 40 would. But instead, it's eerily quiet here. Why? It's almost as if... You can take stock of your surrounding later. You're almost on top of the servant reading we're targeting. Please, rendezvous with them first. Once they join you, you can start gathering information. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. I see them over there. That is Shiva's wife. Oh, it was Parvati, or had a pseudo servant of her. Perhaps she was able to hold a better virtue of being a divine spirit. Or maybe there is another reason why she was only one to evade capture. I mean, to be fair, div divine. I mean, we have pl plenty of gods that otherwise, you know. At any rate, she did great holding out against the enemy reverse summoning. Ah, yes, she must be wonderful, strongly willed. We, had be be we better help her before this enemy or, or whoever can steal. Oh, yeah. Kiara. Sacrifices. He kind of hits the radar. Hey, Par, it's me. <laughs> it's -a me, Lano. No. Huh? I said, no. I'm not Indian goddess Parvati. On a par is on the fritz. <laughs> hey, I don't know what that means, but I can still tell you're treating me like some sort of lunatic. Still, I suppose that's understandable since I have yet to tell you my name. Very well then, I still don't know who you are, but I will tell you who I am. I'm the one who oversees Uku here in Edu Castle. Once I also served as a first show in 
is your first struggle to pick up in Metsu's wet nurse. You're very young. I'm pretty sure she would be very old. My show name is Saito. My given name is Fuku. Now go by the name bestowed upon me the Imperial Court. Kasuga no Tsubone. <laughs> Tsubone? Yeah, time to bone! <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I'm gonna Google this. Who the fuck is this? Uh, Kasuga no Tsubone. Is she a real person? Lady Kasuga. Was a Japanese noble lady and political from prominent Yamura samurai family, family of the Asushi Momoe and Edo period. Oh, cool. Hmm. Uh, lady Kasuga was one of the best politicians in the Edo period. Oh. Damn. Say nani? Oh my, oh my, oh my. Kasuga no Tsubone is one of the most famous women in Japanese history. Although, given how great your surprise is, Master, I'm guessing she doesn't look quite how you expected. It's not that, apart from her outfit. That's definitely in the private that we know what in the world's going to, to be fair, we have so many Sakura faces that Parvati is just one of them. It's really hard to tell. Oh, there we go. I'm afraid this is kind of comp. Yeah, no shit, this is really complicated. Twiggly, I'm the goddess Parvati, you know. She was wife, goddess of elegance and grace, all of that. For a while, I was a little worried how this would turn out, but I feel I'm much better now that you're here, Lano. What's you? What, were you pulling a prank on us? What could this reading mean? Is there someone else there inside your spirit origin? Oh! Did she latch on to this um, Kasuga? And now they are like... Existing both, but only one of them can exist at a time. This is your acquaintance of Lady Pa. Lady Pa? That sounds so weird. Please forgive my early outburst. I'm afraid I still don't understand what's going on very well with myself. But I'll do my best to explain what I can. It's a... It, it looks adorable. It's only proper after all. Ahem. This is of course not my own body. I have fallen in love was waiting for death to take me. In fact, I think it was after the final thread of joining me to this life that snapped the Lady Paul rescued me. At that moment I noticed something strange was happening to Edo Castle and had a flash of insight. It must have been the heavens themselves or perhaps Lady Lord Toshu Daigonga. Daigo... Daigon Jen? What? Some fancy. Delivered the East Indian goddess to me in our house, hour of need. They must want me to use this goddess body and power to do something about this predicament. As I said, I don't think that's what's going on here. I, I didn't realize it, but Sakura uh, has sm small stars in her eyes. I didn't know, I haven't noticed that before until now. Of course it is. It must be. I'm at least reasonable, sure. How else could it be something this preposterous, this absurd, this ridiculously far-fetched even happen? If I, her voice is anything to go by, she has a lot more energy than I expected. But um, never mind that. What is this predicament happening at Edo Castle right now? I'm neither worried nor do I practice any kind of sorcery. I was only given my current title thanks to the little skill I have with the Naginata. The significance of this could not be clearer. The predicament when I speak of has befallen Edukasi in the most chamber, where no man but the Shogun himself is allowed to enter. I speak of course of the place where the Shogun's wife and concubines live, the Oku. Uh -huh. I don't know how or why, but everyone in Edukasi has completely disappeared and in their place. The Oku has transformed into a labyrinth that appears to reach deep within the bowels of the earth. That's... that's weird. Okay. Funky. Dude, I dig that, I dig that. Okay. Yay, you did cross that sentence. Thank you, Lord Lou. Okay. My god, there's so much no battles here. There we go. Oh my come on, bitch! I ah 
Okay, so... Parva... Why Parvati, though? It really doesn't... I mean... Now, I don't know how Japan was really back then. But I do know for a fact... And, and it is sad... But I know that Japan is incredible xenophobic, you know? And I'm feeling like... If, we, if you're gonna get in an, an, an Indian goddess in there... I'm pretty sure they will be like... NANI? I w then again, I, I, I think most countries would react like that, but... Uh, yeah, you know? Now I see, so you're Lady Parvati. I'm used to hearing your brother's name, Umai, so I didn't recognize you at first. This is also my first time meeting a being from the Mandala, so I must confess that I'm a little nervous. Still, right now, we are both servants, contract to Lady Lano. In that spirit, I will do my best to contain my excitement so we may work together harmon harmoniously. And people say that our character is, is a mediocre. We literally have gods! To our name. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I didn't believe we met. Me? Oh, I'm just a humble nun. And while I'm worthy to introduce myself to the great lady Kasuga and lady Umai. But if you insist. My name is Sezuin Kya. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I feel like there is something inside you that is entirely separate from anything related to faith. Yeah. Parvati know what's going on, man. Some of that, depending on the situation, I might need to deal with it quickly and decis decisively. Oh my, something inside me? Please don't look in there, it's far too embarrassing. Nice freeze there, thank you computer. Still, it should be okay for now. I have this sense that there is a dam within you and you couldn't break at any moment, but that you also wouldn't be here otherwise. And admittedly, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Yes, I suppose it makes sense that gods would pick up on my connection to this singularity. You're connected to this singularity? What have you done? But as likely as far as her awareness goes, even I still don't have the whole picture myself. There's no way she could figure this out this out before me. There is definitely something about you that nags me, but do I have more pressing things to focus on right now? Yes, I can sense there is something here. And whatever it is, it's something only I can confront. Thank you for waiting. Our equipment is all just in fine tune now. This is a rare and valuable situation, so I want to make sure all the data we collect is accurate. Like, uh, accurate. Pardon me, would like to something better than to find you evade capture thanks to being a divine spirit servant. Or if it was... Oh my god, you're blabbering so much. Holy moly. Or it was a confluence of circumstances owing to your avatar and the particular place to which you were summoned. Or literally that uh, the creators like uh, Sakura faces. I guess that would make sense. Which, I mean, I like Sakura. I really do. I really do. But I would like to see some other character. Blackbeard. Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that, dude, imagine if there was Blackbeard there. People fucking rile over that so hard. And I would thrive in that. <laughs> but for now, we should limit our focus on gathering as much information about the current situation as we can. The more testimony we have from varied perspective, the better after all. So please tell us what happened from our pers your perspective. Oh lord. Going on. So you can come across two bone soul while you were being drawn here and decide to help her on the whim. That's right. I realized that sharing my spirit audio with her was the only thing I could do to save her. I knew it were only st be was only a stopgap, but I just couldn't look the other way. But thanks to that, my own definition became less clear, and I think that's why I was able to escape the enemy's force summoning. So it all worked out in the end, and I don't f even feel any kind of force pulling on me anymore. But I do still, still smell something foul at work here. <laughs> could be me. But... And I think it's coming from over there. That's play Kasuga Kasu no Tsubon called Oku. As far as I can tell, whatever's going on here is just she, as she described. So all the people here cause this be just like the ones at Chaldea base. 
And now the oak has turned into labyrinth. Oak, oak, oak. I don't know why, but make me think uh, on some monkeys in uh, World of Warcraft. What the fuck were they called? I don't remember. Coincidence? Definitely not. This is all clearly connected. Definitely. I, I assume at least at this point. I don't care any longer. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. At this point, it could not be clear that the attack on the Wandering Sea and this strange phenomenon at Edokas are the work of a hostile force. That aside, I'm still not quite sure what you mean when you say that Oka has turned into a labyrinth. Did you see it for yourself, Tsubone? Well, sort of. I was thinking, oh crap, I'm really dead now. And ascending to Nirvana when I think I was caught a glimpse of it. Then I just, as I realized that something was strange was going on with my, my Oku. And I was feeling thoroughly pissed off about it. That's why my Lady Para saved me. So no, I didn't exactly get a good look at it. But I'm positive there's something strange going on there. Yeah, I mean, why don't we go there right away and check it out? We do have a point, but I don't think it's still too soon to go to this Oku. Why? If it's seem if 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 wouldn't that be the first place to ex take a look on? Because if it's suspected that it might be the source of this, hello. Before you try to make your way through this labyrinth, you should make sure that your current surroundings are safe and that you have ample supply. Yeah. Go through. I didn't. I didn't say I would go through. I, what I thought was we're gonna check that there is a labyrinth, you know? You can check a labyrinth without going right into it, you know? That was my that was my goal, actually. So, yeah, of course we need supplies. Now that you have accomplished your time-sensitive mission to secure the last reverse summon servant, there is no reason to rush. Not to mention we still don't know where everyone else is yet. Right, I'm also worried about what may have happened to Galdea's staff and servants. I would have rescued them too if I had, if it had happened to see anyone like they with some bone, but unfortunately I didn't. <laughs> pitiful, yes, pitiful. Exactly the sort of cowardly move I would expect from plebes. What a joke! Gilgamesh? Is it? No! What? Because the first thing I heard when people... Uh, well, he didn't say mongrel. If he said mongrel, it would definitely be in uh, Gilgamesh. But, okay. Director Gordon, please, Director, get a hold of yourself. New Year's over now. So he finally cracked under the pressure. Don't say my hands are for Jen and friendless. I'm only showing you mercy as anyone as noble as me would. I do not recall giving you permission to speak. Now lower your heads in my presence. Director, okay. You go. how dare you speak to me so casually? Fuck, I, fuck, fuck you, my friend. You're my, you're my dude. You're my meatball, man. You're a meatball, man. You're a meatball, dude. Have the same thing happened here that with Parvati and um, uh, Tsubone. That uh, Gordov kind of like, jink. In with an, some shogun. I don't even know who you, any of you are. Just so you know, commoners like you will usually be lucky to get so much as a glimpse of a noble warrior like myself in your entire life. So know your place and show me the respect undo. You don't know who we are? Does that mean you aren't direct chord of music? Music? Who might that be? Whoever is, his name certainly has a powerful ring to it. But all right, you listen to me. I'm Tokugawa Gordon Figurator. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh no, Tokugawa Gordon. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Looks at everyone else's reaction. Oh my. <laughs> goof, goof, goof. So you're so shocked you're at the loss of words. And where you should be, usually it will be utterly unthinkable for commoners like yourself to so as much see the Shogun, let alone converse with him. Well, I have heard that later Shogun would sometimes dress up like commoners and go mingle among them for lark, but never mind that. 
It turns it is Morgan a true shogun to demonstrate his generosity, regardless of unspeakable, rude or undeserved the recipient may be. Now that you are my guest, I will treat you with the hospitality you deserve. You are my word as the Togagawa, now as a lord of the oak paradise on earth. Huh? Usually the oak will be firmly off limit to all men but the shogun, but today I am willing to open his door to worth the guests. Luckily there is no man here right now. You know? Oh my god, Tifa, what is it? I realize the um, game is not. It was a little bit off skin. I'm sorry about that. I'm talking about an honor to, good, to goodness paradise on earth for you. What is there, there, there to think about? Don't bother getting ready. Just come as you are. I always come. Trust me, you'll find all manner of happiness inside the Oku, and it's fun too. <laughs> what? I guess Ryan Alice on his biology scene, focusing primal on his voice print. What is it, Tifa? I'm trying to play. And I can see with almost 100% certain that that was Gordoff music. Of course, Mr. Gordoff is human, so I doubt he's sharing his body with someone else like Parvati. Uh huh. He can only mean that he has been brainwashed. Be a pretty elite mage. The quality of his magical circus aside, that depends on how the clock tower values a mage's talents. Not to mention, the clock tower seems to take political power into consideration much more than we do at the Atlas Institute. At any rate, yes, at any rate, I'm afraid my worst case prediction were correct. I would guess that he was the first wedge. Wedge. What do you mean? I mean, the enemy must have used him to get a foothold for their attack on the Wandering Sea. It would be impossible for an outside enemy to hack or rage shift equipment to conduct a mass reverse summon while leaving everything else untouched. So I suspect they might have used a more physical approach for that part. And it looks like they probably choose to do this by using Mr. Gordolf. They must have started by making contact with him and brainwashed him to their side. Oh no. It could then use his direct security clearance to disable all of the commander room's protections. After which he was likely the first to be rated away. What is he what a stupid of you. Dude. Don't underestimate brainwashing, and not to mention like unlike most servants, he's not even a servant, he's a human. I know what you mean. No matter how advanced comedy security might be. It's all too easy to make off with the day as long as you can sway someone who works it to your side. Yeah? After all, you don't even need to decrypt it if you can make it off with a device lock, stock, and barrel. What is it, Tifa? She just sits out in the kitchen, screaming, pretty much. Honestly, it pains me to think that such a cross in an elegant solution could work this well. At any rate, once the enemy had Mr. Gordov under their control, they must have used his connection to all of the other staff and servants to reverse some of them here willy-nilly. It must have taken an unbelievable amount of magic energy to do that, much more than even Holy Grail could provide. The enemy would need something with an infinite, no, an inexhaustible a resource for generating magical energy. But never mind that what happened in the past. Right now we need to focus on the problem facing us now. His outfit may have looked ridiculous, but it's no laughing man. What? I thought he looked good. Now, if anything, it's even more serious than I thought. Oh, yes, if nothing else, we know that the director's there in Oku. Duh. Took a cover Gordo, was it? We absolutely must save people like him. Might be the only one trapped in the Oku. Maybe the others are there too. Guess going to answer is our only options. Yeah, I mean, what? We, we, in what era would we not go there any, either other way? Unbelievable, who does that Gordo person think he is calling himself a Tokugawa? This is a travesty. How could he even ride his horse or put it on his arm with all that excess weight? Be nice. There is something I didn't tell you earlier, for it would this... Uh, this guy, it would be an unprecedented unpre crisis of the show. Blah, 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 I can't speak. Everyone in has vanished, including Iematsu, the current Shogun. He must be within the oak as well. I must rescue him no matter what. Please, will you help me? Second her request, please help her. 
I may not be at my full strength, but I can still come out like this to help you in battle if things comes to that. And Kasuga, Kasuga not to bones him like she knows a lot about the Uku. I'm sure knowledge will be will be helpful. How will it be helpful when, the, when it's a literally labyrinth now? Not that I'm be believing Tsubone to be a brilliant woman, but now it's a weird, cra crazy labyrinth. How the fuck is she? Of course, we have. <clears throat> of course, we have to rescue Court of all the others. But even put them aside, I think we need. I need to go there. Something tells me I need to confront whoever is or whatever is behind all this, and that's I'll find them in the Uku. I cannot recommend charging into enemy territory before you have a chance to create a campsite of our own. But you do have Parvati to help you in battle and Kasuga and Otsubon to guide you around the Uku. Start discussing it, discussing it among my different thoughts processes. We have come to the consensus, consensus that it should be okay for you to go in there under your, these conditions. So make it while the sun shines, was it? Well, if we're going to do this, then let's do it. The next objective is to infiltrate Oku, investigate what is happening there, and rescue everyone who is trapped. There's no telling what could happen in there, so please be extra careful. Don't, don't worry, I prepared to build the Oku myself, you know? But it's a labyrinth now! Your knowledge, literally how it's built, doesn't matter now! To be fair! It might be a little more labyrinthy now, but I still know it's like the back of my hand. No! It, that, that is not how anything works! I'm not an architect by any means, but I'm pretty fucking sure if the entire building is different from when you build it, you won't find your way <laughs> like that. Besides, now I have the goddess of India and her trusted companions here to help me. Whatever sort of nasty person might have taken over the Uku, I'm sure we can handle them just fine. Haha. <laughs> At least she's optimistic. That's good. And what is it, Tifa? Are you whiny... Fuzzy baby. Dude, this is like an um, labyrinth of the game. Literally, labyrinth of the game. Ooh, and we're gonna fight. Is it only females that get bonuses? Seems. Please, please set two of your own servants once. Oh no! Ah, Japanese characters. Ah. Okay. And it's assassin. Do I have any? I have, uh, you're my teeth out. What, what is it? My god, you're crying. Oh, lord. Uh, let's see. And I know. Uh, you know what? Since I got Need to Chris, I might as well do, sir. Uh, oops. For your seven, Chris, my lunar loss. Yeah, sure. Man, this is taking. This is a long part though. Holy crap. What is with Os Osusuruka? I have anything near this creepy in my Oku. I don't even know what that is. There's suddenly it's a strange aroma here. What is this place? Ah, Shundoi? This is the Osusuruka, the bell corridor. It's only way to get from the Nakaoku where the Shogun recite to the Oku. Oh god. I I, I'm terrible sorry everyone from Java, but I can't... These, these are very hard names throwing right at me like this suddenly. The Uku itself has several other entrants. So this court is usually reserved solely for the Shogun's use. But since it looks like this is the only way into the new labyrinth Oku, I'm afraid we have no shot but to make use of it ourselves. If you were to enter the Oku from one of the servants' entrances, or even if you were to get the bird's eye view of the place, I'm sure it will look like a perfectly ordinary building. But when you go in there from a passage reserved just for the Shogun, it leads to a mysterious labyrinth. That appears to be the situation we're dealing with right now. So couldn't we take the servant's passway? 
That's basically how it worked. It's an un unknown and secluded spatula structure made by Magecraft. To be honest, it may be even surpass the Alice Institute engineering, though I really should not compare them since this technology and ours could not possibly be more different. Whatever is happening here is like nothing I have ever seen. How strange. These sort of things should would usually be right up my alley. But for some reason I just cannot get excited about this at all. Indeed, I have no idea how or why this happened. I'm also pretty sure we never had this much Indian decor before. Ah, uh, this old one took a gov into interior design. If the decorator were here, I'd often redo the whole thing. What's oh, elephant there, door? Cool. Anyway, that is the Oyoguchi. Door actually is the Okubat. Seems that someone is there. What the fuck? Who in the world are they? Are they supposed to be attending Garden the Oyoguchi? They look like definitely like you know um, Krishna, you know multiple arms and uh, weapons stuff like that. Vishna, I think it is right. Yes, look at them. I would never ever hide anyone like that. The Oku's attendant must be proper ladies from noble families. Would you have every right to be angry? Those things are clearly not living creatures. They may look like look alluring, but they're nothing more than automat or monkly puppets, really. There seems to be something different about them compared to normal automatons, though. They seem vaguely Indian, just like the Koro. Why is that? Are we are we really that surprised, considering that we literally um, have Parvati here, and then Indian influence? What is it, Ifa? You know, I'm just saying. The Uguchi doesn't need someone to stand guard at all hours of the day and night, so maybe our enemy fought the marionettes who don't need to sleep would be right for the job. What a ridiculous idea. At any rate, this is definitely the door to the Uguchi, so we can't afford to stop now. You there, that enemy with four arms. Welcome, thank you for coming, please enjoy your stay. You can talk? <laughs> well, aren't you, you, you are full of a surprise? But I'm Kasuga not Tsubo and I spent my life watching over the oak. It would take more than a little song and dance to scare me off now, you bizarre marionette. Now step aside or I will strike you down where you stand. Yeah! Oh, whoops, is this your lucky day, Yomase? I don't have my Naganat on me now. Sorry for trub trouble, Lady Pop, but would you mind taking over from here? Wait, huh? You can't spring these things on me like this. Oh my. What are you doing, Tifa? Yeah. Silly, silly cat. Yeah. Ah, seriously though, this is... God damn, this was a long... I didn't expect it to be this long. Holy crap. How is she floating like that? Oh lord, are you gonna summon a ton of these now? That's a bitch move. Oh, nice music. What? What are you guys? What is the deal with these guys? What are they up to? I am. I'm wondering what the fuck they are up to there. That's weird. No effect. What? Why? What the fuck? What is up with that? Okay, I... I mean, less they attack me, the better, I guess. And then there was this thing on the side there, the bar there, huh? Hmm. 
I did all these weeks. Oh man. Right between the deities. They look so suspicious. We were about to fight them anyway, so I didn't have to exorcise them, but. They never actually attacked us, did they? Now I kind of feel bad. Yeah, that's true. They didn't really attack me, when I think about it. They must have been too scared to fight back after seeing your divine glory, goddess. Oh, and uh, I guess your fate scared them off too, Lady Sessuin. Anyway, now there's no land left to go in our way. Come on, let's go. Tifa, what is it? Master, I suspect you're going to find an even stranger world past that pathway. Then what you're seeing now. No, no shit. Sherlock, <laughs> I, I can say that now because he's not here. It could be ruled by structural laws and theories that are completely different from the ones outside the Uku. Basically, it's not telling what might happen. Oh yes, this is what a good dungeon crawl should be like. Oh sorry, I slipped into spectator mode by mistake. I should take a page from Holmes' book when it comes to keeping my cool. Yeah. Anyway, be extra careful in there, everyone. This is where the expedition really begins. Okay. There's no turning back now. The door's closed behind you. It's like Resident Evil. Oh boy. Hey, Quartz. I'm not really sure what that really means. Can I check here as well? Uh, Sun grown beauty, great glory. Oh, so the bigger tits, the more. <laughs> Dude, that would be something if that was the case. The bigger the boobage, the bigger the glory. I could see that, I could see that. But well, um, I am going to cut for now and I will be back with more of the Oku Labyrinth. I am curious to see what this is going to lead and are we going to build on our own way here? That's going to be interesting. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you later and I will continue a super great day.